Pepper's lying down as I harvest the bamboo for the beans. The trick is the outside bamboos are smaller, thinner, and they don't grow as high. They're not as tall. Well, some of them are. This one is. That's a tall one. But its uh, bottom is very deep inside the patch of bamboos. So I've got to step around Pepper. And in here, this is the bamboo patch. As you can see, bamboos, there's a cherry tree in the middle of them. And when the bamboos nearly died, all died during the hundred year die off, my grandfather's brother advised me. There was about six cherry trees. He said, take all the cherry trees out and then give loads of manure to the soil around the bamboos. So I manured the bamboos, but I left some of the cherry trees. I love the cherry trees. So this is the bamboo grove that we used to chart, play in as children. You can see all these pathways in here are fantastic. There's one of the cherry trees that I chopped down to help resuscitate the uh, bamboos. But it's a wonderful place to have as forts, as children. Great games were played in here for hours and hours and hours on end as children because you were hidden from the world in this fantastic grove of bamboos. And I'm so pleased that my great uncle's advice worked because when I came home, there was only a handful. So these have all grown in the last 20 years. And I managed to keep the cherry trees in here. But in here are the long ones. There you can see the cherry tree, one of the cherry trees I kept. But here are the really tall, straight, long ones like this one here. You can see it goes all the way up there. And those are the ones that I want for my beans, to stake out on my beans. <laughs>